Hi, my name is Troy Reyna and I'm a pediatric surgeon with Chop Children's. Today we're going to talk about the appendix and appendicitis. A lot of people, parents ask me what is the appendix. Uh, that is uh, pretty much uh, has undergone a lot of debate in recent years. Uh, the appendix does not have any significant function that we know of. However, perhaps in the evolution of man, some physiologists theorized that a long time ago, and I'm talking more than 10,000 years ago, that perhaps the appendix was a second stomach, like some mammalian species have, goats, rabbits, deer, etc. And as man evolved, and as our diet evolved to a more modern diet, the second stomach wasn't necessary. It eventually atrophied or withered away to a little appendage the size of our pinky. Appendicitis uh, is usually caused by an obstruction and uh, one obstruction is known as a fecalith, which is a hard piece of stool. So that in children that have a tendency towards constipation, i.e. they don't drink, eat enough uh, fresh fruits or vegetables in their diet or drink enough water in their diet or live in a hot arid climate and they have a tendency to get constipated, a hard piece of stool can fall into the appendix, lodge in the appendix, and cause an obstruction. This obstruction on plain x-ray can be visualized as a fecalith and usually causes the appendicitis to progress rather rapidly. So any child that we see with abdominal pain in the emergency room that has a fecalith or calcified mass visualized on a plain film in the right lower quadrant is appendicitis until proven otherwise.